Folks, welcome back to the shop. First of all, we're going to follow up on our water filter install. And the truck hasn't been washed yet today. So, we believe it's working. Money well spent. Clean house a little bit here. Some leftover products from the day's service calls. Those are cam bearing tools, and it occurs to me, something you hear discussed a lot without much theory is Jake brakes. Everybody loves them. Well, maybe people in urban areas or that live at the crest of a steep hill don't love them. The rest of us do. Now we have to understand how diesel injection works in order to understand how a Jake brake works. In an engine, in any engine, you have a camshaft that has intake and exhaust lobes. On each cylinder. For a very long time, diesel engines have had a third lobe, which is bigger due to the higher pressure demand that activates an injector. And this is how we create injection pressure. Your 3406E C15s, Series 60, Cummins N14, ISX all operate on that principle of injection. Early ISX all operate on that principle of injection. So this plunger, which is firing near TDC of compression to create injection pressure. Now we know on the obverse side of that at some point the Jake brake is going to fire the exhaust valve. And all that it does, is it, all a Jake brake does is takes this force from injection using engine oil. It creates a hydraulic lock and mechanically applies this force to the exhaust valve. The brake is supplied with oil at all times. The solenoid is triggered at system voltage, typically 12 volts. Allows entry. There's shuttle valves in here that allow the oil in when it's activated and not back out, for forcing each piston within the Jake brake down against the injector lobe. And as that comes up, that hydraulic force is applied to the exhaust bridge. to fire the exhaust valve. So this whole device, the entire apparatus, that's all it does is fires the exhaust valve near TDC of compression. What does this do? Well, it releases all the built up compression that would have normally been used to fire, which is what creates that large pop noise through the exhaust and dumps it all out there. Now your cylinder is at zero PSI and traveling downward. So this actually will enter a slight vacuum. All of it absorption of energy. And if nothing else, even if this doesn't enter vacuum, it's not gonna have the pressure that was created from compression pushing it back down. So how does the Jake brake work now that we have common rails and the engine doesn't have that injection mold anymore. Most major manufacturers, Cummins, uh, Detroit, etc., has added an additional cam lobe with quite the aggressive profile. You know, it goes from off to on, maintains on, and then back off. So rather than just use an injection lobe, it has a lobe specifically 
planned and plotted for engine braking and engine braking only. Thanks for watching.